Oh, wait, yo. Ong, you may have come talk at the Macan, the Tisamaka, Nokdal, with the Junta, Sapling Yarong, and the Jet, and my mentor, the Slicer Tan of Clun. I thank you, Mr. President. Sapling Yarong, and the Jet, some Okun Lutian. I'm turning now uh, to I briefly speak about the uh, evidence of killings at S21. Uh, murder uh, and uh, extermination, Your Honors, is proven uh, beyond any uh, doubt. Uh, at this security office. Uh, it is admitted. Uh, by the prison cadres, including Doig, uh, who has consistently testified uh, to your honors that uh, all those sent to S21 were to be smashed. And you heard testimony from the prison cadres who carried this out. From uh, the cadre who recorded the names of the prisoners who were being removed for execution, Mr. Susti, the head of the guard unit whose task was to take the prisoners from the tool slaying compound to Chang'ek. And the head of the unit at Chang'ek in 2010 that took those prisoners from Him Hui to the mass graves where they were one by one killed. And there can be no doubt about this testimony because the names of the prisoners taken for execution were methodically recorded in lists that are in evidence in this trial. There are photographs of some of the executed prisoners. And when just a portion of the mass graves at Chang'ak were exhumed, uh, this is what was found. Now we were fortunate uh, to hear in this trial from Bun Vuti, who conducted a study uh, of the remains uh, found at Chang'ek. His study uh, confirmed the number of skulls, a number that had deteriorated uh, since the original exhumation um, in uh, 1981 uh, of uh, great significance, uh, when Budi testified that when his team examined one by one the over 6,000 skulls, uh, there was only one, only one of the 6,000 that did not have any markings uh, of violent uh, trauma. Your Honors, um, what I'm about to show you, some gruesome photos, uh, these are the photographs of the very last victims of S21, uh, whom Doik has identified as a Y10 cadres accused of shooting Malcolm Caldwell. Uh, as you heard from Doik, uh, by the time of these killings, uh, the other S21 prisoners had already been taken away and executed pursuant to the orders of Noon Chea. But a small group of uh, these Y10 cadres had been kept for further interrogation. And as the very last acts of the S21 cadres uh, fleeing the tool slaying compound, 
cầm một vị ba so một vị môi để bắn rút chân bị cúc nội trong cõi luôn. Tại chặt súng bắn chìm môi nâng chìm bút túng nâng bê đè lẹ tầng nốt cứ thật nội chọc nọc chê vào là one of them as you see in this photograph nè tô mà nè nâng cọ trâu bàn kì à có có đôi cắt các bà trên trên mặt đó bàn khơi nông rụt thọ này xa bàn Execution records that record the killings of S21 prisoners. And on the screen, you're seeing just a few examples of those. As set out in our brief, the surviving execution lists include at least 27 instances of mass executions on single days. Exceeding 100 prisoners, and mostly during the 1977 and 78 purges. In addition to the mass executions carried out in May 1978 that I discussed the other day, I discussed yesterday. Uh, the surviving execution list documents over a thousand prisoners killed in a one-month period from uh, July 1st uh, to the 3rd of August 1977, starting with an execution of 129 women uh, on the 1st of July. And they record uh, more than 850 prisoners uh, killed over a one-week period in October 1977, including 418 people killed in one day on the 15th of October. Uh, the next slide. Uh, is figure 1.7 uh, in our trial brief annexes, and it shows uh, the total number of documented executions uh, by month um, for the execution records that are in evidence in this trial. In terms of the extermination charge, your honors, it is clear from this evidence alone the execution lists that there was an intent to kill on a massive scale. And now um, it may be a good time for me to briefly uh, address uh, the new uh, total number of S21 prisoners uh, that was put forth uh, in our trial brief and annexes. And I, I preface my remarks um, by going back to uh, your first trial here in 2009, and at that time we were working from uh, a combined prison list, prisoner list that had uh, 12,300 names. And uh, when Doik was uh, asked about that total in his trial, uh, asked about the total of 12,300 prisoners at S21, uh, his response was uh, that the actual number uh, may have even exceeded that. Uh, I remember uh, being struck by that even at the time, um, because when a person is on trial, uh, for the murder of 12,300 people, uh, and they say that the number may actually be higher, uh, there's a pretty good chance the number is uh, not only higher, but a lot higher. And uh, that is what we've seen in uh, the new a list that was uh, uh, produced by OCIJ uh, and added uh, to the case file and into evidence last year. Um, we're very grateful uh, to the work uh, that was done uh, by this OCIJ analyst. Um, this is the first time, uh, to my knowledge, that anyone has uh, created a combined list uh, in which uh, each of the individual prisoners uh, are documented the, the source 
for each of those prisoners is specifically documented. Uh, uh, this is uh, a very uh, important and useful piece of evidence um, that we are fortunate to have. Uh, as you heard, uh, however, uh, there were time limitations on what this one person could do. And one of the things that was not done with the OCIJ list uh, was to uh, conclude and review all the execution lists. The OCIJ number of 15,100 came primarily from going through the entry records. Uh, because of that, we put together a team in our office um, to, to do that last step. And we went through the execution records um, that are in evidence. We did not go uh, outside looking for more execution records. Uh, and uh, we uh, reviewed them um, where there were uh, missing execution dates in the OCIJ list uh, that we, we, we added them and where we found prisoners uh, that weren't on the OCIJ list uh, we added, uh, added them as new prisoners. The, the reason we found new prisoners is because ne neither the entry lists nor the execution lists are complete. There are missing records from both. So if you simply look at the entry lists, because there are missing periods, missing documents, uh, you will not cover all the prisoners. So you need to go through both the entry and the execution lists. And when we did that uh, in, in the uh, annexes that we filed uh, with your honors, uh, we have now identified uh, 18,000, approximately 18,000 names of prisoners of people detained at S21. And while the original OCIJ list only had uh, somewhat over 5,000 execution dates, uh, we have added an additional 6,000 execution dates uh, based, just based uh, on the execution list in evidence. So we have gone now, the state of affairs before, something you heard from Mr. Cope over and over, uh, is why is, is, are there only 5,100 execution dates in the OCIJ list? The answer we heard from the analyst was she didn't have time to review them. We have now, and there are now over uh, 11,000 execution dates that are confirmed. Let me turn now to uh, another uh, rather critical issue, which is Noon Chea's uh, role. At S21. Uh, some of the most important and damaging evidence against Noon Chea uh, comes from uh, the S21 chairman, Doig, uh, who has consistently testified that when Son Sen uh, was assigned uh, to the Eastern Battlefront in 1977 uh, to command the, the DK troops uh, in the conflict against Vietnam, uh, Doig began reporting directly. Doik has testified uh, to orders he received from Noon Chea to execute prisoners, the large execution of these owners in mid-78, the killing of the uh, remaining prisoners at the end of the regime, and, and numerous other matters, um, which we uh, document extensively in our trial brief. Uh, an important issue here, though, is the corroboration of Doik's testimony uh, uh, of his relationship uh, and Noon Chea's role at S21. This is not a matter that is simply proved, proven by Doik's testimony. We obviously know uh, from uh, documents and from uh, military uh, former so soldiers who testified here that Son Sen was in fact in the East Zone commanding the troops. Ng Suri, uh, in an interview with Steve Hedder, 
from brother number two uh, to remove a number of the names from that confession. There is the testimony your honors heard uh, from Chae's messenger and bodyguard, Sok Tung, that he personally delivered letters from the accused to Doik, and also picked up thick envelopes of documents from Doik that he brought to Noon Chae. There are the numerous S21 confessions, as you see here, that contain annotations on the cover page that they were sent to Brother Noon. And there is this a film clip in which the accused admits to Tet Sambat that he received many confessions. And if we could play clip number one, please. Mr. Chairman, the accused did not have any ตามมาต้องสมปิจิตติตาตาองค์อันกันปิจิตตาตาองค์บ้านอันบายการยังไม่ให้ตาอยู่อบรมกรรมาภิบาลนะครับนะบ่บายการนี่ก็ได้ใ
asking them to come to Cambodia immediately, purportedly for the New Year's and Independence celebrations. But as is acknowledged uh, in the minutes, the real reason was so that the problem, the problem could be resolved cleanly. And we know that many of Sihanouk's children and relatives were killed during the regime, as is in evidence from the King Father's own statements. At, at the beginning of my submissions yesterday, uh, I talked about Akus and Pan's participation in standing committee meetings that concerned arrests and security matters. And in the video you're about to see, the accused reveals his knowledge, uh, his personal knowledge uh, of leadership meetings at which decisions were made on whether to arrest fellow CPK leaders. And if we could play clip number two, please. ແລະບັນຫານີ້ຄືຍົກເຄີຍຖ້າໄຕໄປຈ້າຍການຈັບຈ້ອງ Bàn thứ đau thuần thì người ta phục hiện người ta là ngân rồi bỏ đi hai cái chạp cho hai cái đặt cục nơi cái lại chế với muối có còn chun màu so và thầy muối ấy vậy anh ấy đang về chỉ được xây chỉ được ắt tê ແລະລູກຄົນບໍ່ຕາມຂອງຖະນະລູກດັກນ້ອມລູກກຶດກູຈັບຈ້ອງແຕ່ກໍມາວິບາລະນາແດ່ປະເພດຄໍ່ນີ
working style. Your Honours, uh, in the first months of 1977, the two of the fellow leaders who regularly attended standing committee meetings with Kusumpan and Nguyen Chaya uh, were sent to S21. Khoi Tun, and Suvazi alias Doin, uh, the other member with Kusumpan on the 870 political committee. And on the 10th of April 1977, uh, Kusum Khan's longtime colleague uh, and fellow ghost uh, Minister of Propaganda, Hu Nin, was arrested and sent to S21. Despite these arrests of his colleagues, Kusum Khan continued to wholeheartedly support and help implement CPK enemy policies. In his 15 April 1977 speech, given just a few days after Hunim's arrest, Kusum Khan stated, We must wipe out the enemy. Following the lines of domestic policy, foreign policy, and military policy, everything must be done neatly and thoroughly. And you heard, uh, Your Honours, um, from Steve Hedder in the first trial. Uh, in 1980, uh, before Kusimpan, um, uh, had any access uh, to any written books about the regime. Kusimpan uh, gave a rather revealing interview to Steve Hedder, uh, in which he spoke extensively about Khmer people who were Yun undercover agents who he, he stated to Hedder had infiltrated the highest levels of the party, including the st Central and Standing Committee meetings. And he told Hedder, I quote, that in 1977 to 78, his words, we managed to deal with those people completely, end of quote. The evidence uh, your Honours, refutes uh, the lie we have heard from Q Sampan and that he repeated to OCIJ that he did not know of a single arrest during the period of democratic Shia. You heard uh, in the two trials about political education by both accused. Uh, sometimes by the two of them together. Uh, you heard a testimony from people who heard both Nguyen Chea and Kusimpan speak about fellow leaders who betrayed the party, such as Khoi Tun, witnesses such as M. Un, Ekhen, Rusui, all testified about the political education meetings. Rusui uh, had a vivid memory of Noon Chea playing a tape recorder of Koi Tun's And you heard at the end of this trial, near the very end, from a civil party, Preet Chun, uh, regarding the speech that was given by Kusun Pan uh, to people from the East Zone. Uh, which was uh, played for you, I believe, during the civil parties, uh, in which Kusimpan uh, instructed the people uh, do not betray the party. Uh, if you did, you would be killed. Let me uh, uh, conclude, Your Honours, by uh, coming back one more time, one last time, uh, to Ted Sambat's interviews of Noon Chea. Uh, we've seen these, um, but these interviews, uh, the accused clearly expresses his agreement with and support uh, for the killing of reported traitors during the regime. And if we could play video clip uh, three, please.
เนื้อเทียมมันเห็นทานติดตัวบอยทาแล้วก็ทาเองโคเคิลปัญหาเยอะมือตัวมือจะซ้อมซ้อมอ่ะมือกระทาบอยเจี๊ยบปัญหาก็มอยมือจีบกุ้งก็ยังต้องตัวปูนึงเอาเนื้อรับสัตว์สัตว์ตัวนั้นกุ้งเจ้ายังจำนอนกล้วยว่าเจ้าจะใส่รูปเพียรจะขมายปัญหาเคลมซาวิจัยใส่